Welcome back, everybody. As you can tell by the puffy flowers on my sleeves, it's spring. So too much sunshine, too much rain. It can be a mess up here, stuff for hair and face. Certainly can. And that humidity that's coming, too. So we're getting Ugh. some advice on an accessory that'll help keep you out of the elements. Pats, y'all, with Raquel Greer Gordian of Greer Image Consulting. Mwah, hello, my friend. Happy spring. Mwah, mwah. <laughs> yes, happy spring. Good morning, Rosie and Steph. I'm so excited to be here as always. Ooh, and talking about one of my favorite accessories. Uh, I, Thank I feel you. like this looks like an Easter hat. So you can make <laughs> did, that work. I did wear yeah. this this last weekend in Round Top, but fashion hats aren't, you know, always a daily accessory for most people. Uh, you know, I know Rosie isn't always the biggest fan of hats. I don't um, own a single hat. She does not. not. One. We're, we're going to change <laughs> I'm not, that. I don't have a hat head. <laughs> but it, it might make you feel like it means they end up playing it safe when you do wear one. So talk to us a little bit about uh, what that means, your idea behind it and how do we get a hat on Rosie's head <laughs> yes so okay yeah so that's the thing like a lot of people identify as not being hat people and honestly I attribute that to playing it too safe with hats so if you mm. go too kind of small with the brim of the hat sometimes it can feel a little boring unexciting like it's not adding enough to your um, outfit and really um, becoming an accessory so okay. if you've never tried hats before rather than going super small I would already kind of try this is what I would consider like kind of a medium brim hat mm -hmm. um, um, and then kind of the structure of it will really um, kind of make it pop. So okay. medium brim, if you've never tried them before, and then mm -hmm. if you're the kind of person that's like, okay, I've got some hats in my wardrobe, but I don't feel like I have the perfect one, I would say just mm -hmm. dive in. So this is kind of oh, like a larger cute. brim hat. It's, yeah, it yeah it's a statement. It's definitely a statement, but really bringing it up can really help you realize, oh, I actually really like hats. I didn't just, I didn't have the perfect one that would really make me feel um, fabulous and put together in it. Lean in. Ooh, I, I'm thinking big Tex and his massive hat. So uh, let's talk a little <laughs> bit about angles. What is the right angle for this? Because I had trouble with that this weekend. Like, do you want to bury your face? Do you want to show your face? What's the What's the deal there, girl? So you definitely want to show your face off, you know, like necklaces, like anything that you're wearing, really all it's about is framing your face and really your personality. So rather than wear your hat super, super forward to where people are like, okay, well, I can't really see them. <laughs> like we're not really connecting. What you want to do is tip it back a little bit. Now, not necessarily all the way back to where you get that big halo, um, mm. then it can be kind of distracting, right? Where you get the hairline all there. You want it a little bit below that. That. So again, it's framing your face, but it doesn't feel like, whoa, that's distracting. Okay. okay. And now that we've got angle correct, let's talk about how heavy it should sit on your head. How secure does that hat need to be? Yes. So you want the hat to definitely sit securely on your head. I feel like this week we've had a lot of wind. Um, yeah. And so that is a mm -hmm. good time to know, like, you need it to be securely on your head. Mm. Now, not only because on top of your head, it can kind of look a little clownish. Again, you can kind of get that same thing as the halo where it's like, okay, this is becoming distracting. Um, but really, when it's on your head, again, it's going to frame your face, but it's also going to feel secure. So you don't have to go running after your hat, mm. you know, if you're doing a little outdoor or outdoor happy hour it's just gonna sit there it's gonna feel good and um again secure okay awesome. and you want us to not be like walking out the door and thinking oh you know what i'll grab a hat you kind of want us to build the outfit with hat in mind Yes, totally. That's um, kind of one of the main things too with hats is you have to think of them as accessories. So uh, watches, necklaces, um, sunglasses, all of these are going to be kind of like the finishing elements of your look. So just in the way that you would match a black belt to black shoes, if you're going to do that, choose a black hat. If you're going to go with some warm colors or warm neutrals, um, Steph's hat would be great because it's kind of got that bright vanilla color. So you want to work this in with all the rest of what you're wearing. And I would eat even apply this to um, a baseball cap. So I okay. like to match this when I'm doing biker shorts, uh, matching this kind of uh, moss color to my biker shorts. You want everything to link in your in your outfit. I feel like my shirt vibe needed to be a baseball hat, but we're mixing things up today with the Rachel Wright <laughs> t-shirt. Uh, so Raquel, let's talk a little bit about investment. Investing in a hat, besides maybe one that you just wear at the beach, get wet, get dirty, uh, you say that hats are really an investment piece, right? 
Yes, absolutely. It's definitely, I mean, if you're going to do um, kind of like a lighter weight hat like this, um, you don't necessarily always have to invest, but if you're going to do a wool hat, a cowboy hat, mm. um, going classic with it and then putting a little bit more money, um, that will definitely, um, that has, hat will last you um, five, 10, 20 years and those styles won't go out of style and it'll be something that you continuously reach for because it'll really hold up as well. Okay, so speaking of holding up, um, this is getting a little floppy, flimsy. What about maintaining the shape of our hat? How do we do that? Yeah, so you've probably seen me grabbing it by the crown because I love to do that. I'm guilty of that. But grabbing it by the brim is a better way to kind of keep the structure, keep the shape of the hat um, as well. And so you don't kind of uh, switch up you know, the shape doesn't, doesn't change over time. It keeps that shape and investing in the hat will also do that as well. This was just a great excuse, Steph, to see every hat in Raquel's collection. <laughs> I know. Really I'm jealous. I am jealous. Wait, I've got one more. I've got one more. <laughs> Put that one oh, we on. got to get them all beautiful. <laughs> Looks great. Raquel, thank you so much. <laughs> to learn more about Raquel's services, she does tips and tricks like this. She's got lots of fun blog posts. Learn more about her online at greerimageconsulting.com and follow her on social media, maybe for your next hat inspiration. It's at Raquel Greer Gordian.